All right, now that our access point has had time to connect to the servers at Hotspot PA, what we've done is we've connected to our hotspot with our wireless, and now we're going to log in from the splash page on the login ID. Then we're going to put our password in. And we're going to log in. Now that we're at the operator's configuration page, if we look to the left, we have my account, account types, customers, hotspots, logins, notifications, advertisements, page statistics, payments, and revenue. The customers are the customers that you have on your hotspot. The account types are the actual package is that you're going to set up for your customers to choose from and the payments is the payments that are made and the revenue is what you've made so with this on the operators configuration page there's a lot of stuff we need to know here the first one is operators name and it says that it appears on the hotspot web page so that means when your customers reach your page, they're going to see this. So anything that says it appears on the web page, they will see. We can see on info line 2 that Hotspot PA has their .com. You can put your own website in there if you have one. And if we go down to logo URL, if you make one, you can email it to Hotspot PA and they will upload it to their servers so that every time your customers log in they will see your logo like mine right here it's the black one with the green writing and green and red writing and you can mess with the background color and foreground color now let's get some options different package plans for your customers go to account types then go down to new account types right here we see a 2020 special that's their default once we have this we can go to the name of it and we can get that and we can put and this is the one month plan and we're going to say with the one month plan that it's one month of service with unlimited We're going to keep the price at $20. I'm going to change my bandwidth that they're going to get for their download to 1 meg. The upload, I'm going to go to 512. Hours online, I'm going to go to 24 hours for 31 days and we push save now if this is all worked out correctly it should upload and we have success so it worked now we're going to go back up here to account types and right here it has the bar with our one month service so if we go back to new account types it's 
going to open up and we're going to be able to repeat and put in another package plan for our customers to choose from. And the more package plans you have with different price ranges, the better it is because then your customers really have an option. So we're going to say our next one is going to be a one, we'll just call it an hour. Come over here to the description. Put one hour in a day. We're going to change this one to $4. And $4 is the lowest amount that you can go to. We're going to go back to the bandwidth. And we're going to set our bandwidth to 1 meg. You can set it to whatever you'd like. I'm going to set my upload to 512. I'm going to put one hour in. I'm going to come over here where it says days. You could put one day, but I'm going to put it in hours. And I'm going to put 24 hours. And I'm going to save my changes. And uh, hopefully I'll get a success page. If this all worked out. Right at the bottom of that page. It also tells you how much you'll make off of each one if they choose that. Alright. Now we're going to log out. And we're going to come back and log back in. And that way I can show you what your customers are going to see. Okay, now that we have logged out and we closed out of our browser and we reopened our browser and came back to the hotspot splash page, we still see login and password for people that have already signed up and they have an account. And now we see this down here internet packages, access packages as low as $7 are available. So if you're new and you need to become a customer, you just have to click the link. And you're going to your customers going to log in create a new password and select the account that they want in this case we have two options one month or 24 hours once they do that they're gonna click continue and they're gonna go through the billing process once they go through the billing process and it verifies they will be able to log into the internet And that's all it is. All right, guys, that's gonna pretty much be it. That's showing how to mount and configure your hotspot. If you have any questions, you can send me a message on my channel, or you can go to hotspotpa.com and send them an email or talk to them on the phone. They're gonna help you out. They will get you set up. Um, I would really like to say that the Pico Station 2HP is a great product. Um, if you want that long range, pick one up. If you have one already and you want to get a second one, you're going to need to send them an email or call them and request a VPN pair key. And that way you have a separate pair key for each unit or else they're not going to work. Well, that right there is going to wrap up the Pico Station 2HP installation.